yo, yo. It's your boy Cardiac Kane, man. We're gonna jump straight in, man. Salute y'all. Everybody who salute me, I salute you right back, man. But right now, I want to talk about how the street's done, man. If you don't feel like the street's done, then I don't think you you got real ton of vision. You know what I'm saying? Um, all you gotta do is look around. Look to your left, look to your right. Your homeboy who hollering out gang gang, squad. Um, real nigga this, real nigga that, whatever it may be. He might be suspect. This man might go to hating on you because you spending too much time with your kids. Are you looking out for your other homeboy more than you looking out for him? I mean, it got me thinking like, it's true. You know, they put weird ingredients in the McDonald's food. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of these dudes acting feminine. Got your kids acting confused. Don't know what they like. They like boys and girls nowadays, man. Everything weird out here in the world, man. But as far as the streets, I really feel like they done, man. And if they ain't all the way done, they in the oven cooking. You feel me? They'll be done soon. Um, I'm going to elaborate more, but just think about it. Think about how quick they got Fulio killers. You know what I'm saying? Think about how quick they got Fulio killers. Think about how quick, allegedly, um, the female folded and undisclosing God knows what type of information. Um, think about how R.P. Young Dolph. Think about how Dolph cousin, maybe over jealousy, maybe over who knows what, decided to backdoor Dolph. Look at Big Juke. Big Juke hated the fact that Dolph was taking off. Dolph was self-made. Dolph was such a real nigga. And no matter how you looked at it, no matter what CMG was doing, Dolph was still progressing. And over time, like the tortoise in the hell. While the hair might have thought that he would never lose, he went to slacking. And the tortoise started progressing and eventually won the race with the Dolphin CMG, the PRE versus CMG movement. And I think that's what eventually would have happened. You know, when you look around, the real niggas in the game infiltrated the hip hop world. And slowly but surely, it corrupted the industry. You know, if you if you go back in the days back when um, everything was positive, you had the Cool Mo D's, you had the LL Cool J's, you had um, Brand Nubian, um, Ron DMC. Everything was like cool, um, positive, and just about who could rhyme the best. Fast forward, then it's about who can thug the best. Fast forward a little bit more, now it's who can hustle the best. Fast forward. And it's about who can kill and, and, and drill the hardest and make a song about it, incriminating yourself. If you ain't incriminating yourself, then <laughs> it ain't it ain't hard enough. Then as I look back, and this goes for DJ Vlad, this goes for DJ Academics, the y'all bloggers, but especially those two, I noticed. A lot of y'all rappers get on there and y'all lose total focus, man. Y'all don't see that just for the clout. Y'all get on there and incriminate yourself, man. And when you look back on it, it's sad because y'all be hollering about snitching and this and that. But y'all snitch on y'all self, dog. Y'all get on there and y'all be wanting to get credit for something so bad that 
You got to let it be known. You can't contain it. Y'all be hollering about, oh, murder and all this right here. But y'all ain't on that. How can you expect your foot soldiers to be on that if y'all ain't even on that? Y'all spill the beans. Just think about it. Y'all shooters, maybe they be harboring resentment, thinking like, man, if this man wouldn't have been broadcasting and trying to be so bigoty about this and let it be known, we probably could have got away with this. But he rapping songs and all that. That's when people go to reconsidering their whole situations. And they think about, you know what? Every man for themselves. Just like um, a captain of the ship. The captain supposed to go down with the ship. Everybody else can uh, be saved. But the captain supposed to go down with it. Because at the end of the day, that's his ship. You know what I'm saying? And the street's done. Y'all don't even see it, man. Y'all messed it up. The money, the females, the power, the abuse of power. The internet just messed it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, look at Thug, man, with the Woody situation. I feel like, just like Woody said, he was going through a tough time. And I'm not justifying it, but that's what these steppers do. That's what y'all killers do uh, when it comes down to it. Y'all think that these killers don't got nothing to live for. Same way you got something to live for, your steppers got something to live for. And when they back against the wall, they gonna start reconsidering life and making choices. That's just how it is. That's how the game go. This ain't nothing new. Y'all done watched a million gangster movies, man. Y'all done watched a million mob movies, man. Y'all think this started here? Y'all think this started with the street, with the street dudes, huh? Look at all the movies, man. The mob been doing it. Whatever, this this thing ain't nothing new. And the powers that be, the AT up the feds, they already know that. As long as they, it, it's an art of war. As long as they box one of y'all in and squeeze the life out of one of y'all, I mean, and take, um, start taking away the things that this person love, it's only a matter of time. Dudes might keep it solid. It's very few. It's very far and it's very few dudes that keep it solid. And at the end of the day, even the ones that keep it solid, they want the clout for keeping it solid. They want clout. Everybody want clout. They want to be, they want the clout for being the realest nigga on earth. But you know what happens to a lot of the realest niggas on earth? Even your partners forget about you. Over time, they forget about you. Then you doing a 5, 10, 20, 30 ball behind the wall. Maybe the first couple of years, there, uh, people remember you and shine your eye, free you, this and that. But after a while, everybody grow old. Your boss, man, he done fell off. Or he done finally got caught. Your baby mama... Um, she need to be taken care of. Your kids need to be raised. They ain't thinking about you. Now you, now you wishing that you would have went right instead of left. And it's dudes in the feds, not in the feds. They got people third party working, man. They trying to get up out of there. So the game is designed for us to fail. That's why I say streets is done. And everybody still want to play. They just ain't, it ain't clicked in their head yet. Or they trying to play because that's all they know. They don't know how to change. They don't know how to uh, um, adjust to the times. So jail or death is the only option for them. And they've accepted that. That's got to be what it is. Um. The Dirk situation, sad. It's really a sad thing. And if you listen to some of the music, Dirk been knew that he made mistakes. He been knew that his homeboy, OT Up Jam, or if he didn't know that OT Up Jam was the rat, then he knew somebody in this circle was. Listen to the music he making. Listen to the songs. He already knew.
but he was too far deep. So he had to play out this movie role that he created for himself. I salute Chief Keith. You know why? Because he was young. He started the wave, the drill music down there. Really? Um, to me, he didn't start the wave of drill music. He did it for the young, for the younger generation. But if you know the Chicago um, history, shout out to the LEP boys. Um, they was on that that type of music way before Chief Keep. They were just older. But again, I salute Chief Keep because he been moved um, to Cali and didn't come back until recently. But he been moved and um, he redesigned drill as we know it. He turned it into a art form with um, style, colors, logos, designs, a brand. So I salute him for that. It took him a while to get it to get it to get his act together, but he did. And he never looked back. He might not have been a chart topping artist, but he always stayed a GOAT. So I salute him for that. Um King Vaughn, he came in the game like a wrecking ball and caused nothing but destruction. Shout out to um AK-47, King AK, I salute him. I watch his uh, his channel, and I salute his viewpoint. Um, and I heard him say about King Vaughn causing a lot of destruction and chaos, and, and I agree with that. From, from YNW Melly, to Fredo Bang. Mm. To it, even him and him and um Duck. Um the whole Wooski thing. Quando Rondo, young boy. It would have spread to a lot of it would have spread to even more. He would have worked his way around Kodak. He would have worked his way around a lot of artists, man, because he was hell bent on. He had blood in it, and, and, um, blood in his mouth. He had a taste for blood, and he wanted more. He got a thrill, a lot of catching bodies. His partners were scared of him. Nobody was on um, man enough to step up and put him in check, cause they was in fear for their life. So he gallivanted around the industry with chaos and destruction. This man went on YouTube and made a blog rewarding his old block niggas for what? I don't know. At the time, I didn't know. But now, looking in retrospect, he rewarding them for something that he already had planned. What they a mission that they needed to fulfill. This man was brazen. He was out of control. Dirt couldn't even check him. Look at some of the videos, man. You can see the pain in his eye. Dirt um, on a roller coaster that he won't. He wanted. To, he wanted it to stop, but it was too far. It was too far gone. He was already on the ride. He had to let it play out. Destiny had to be fulfilled. That's just how it was. So, that's why I feel like the streets is done. And I think that that's why a lot of these other artists are selling their catalogs and everything because the powers that be already know with the thug trial with this young dirt trial where they're incorporating where they've intertwined real crimes into their music there's going to be a law 
and I ain't seen a lot of bloggers even touch on this topic, but I'm saying it first as I act that I know of. There's going to be a law. Mark my words. There's going to be a law that passes to where you can't even trap rap, drill rap no more. Or you're going to have to tread real lightly on that subject. Because in order to for it to be authentic, as it has been in the past, you're going to have to be self-incriminating yourself. And that's where that law that they're going to pass, it's going to get real tricky. So I foresee in the near future that rap is going to go back to the hip, the hop, the hippie to the hip hop. Um, summer, summer, summer time. Um, this might be where an artist like Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, and other artists such as that get the reign supreme. Even Drake probably gonna um, do his thing. It looks like he 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 done fell off, but the way rap going, we won't be able to hear a good album from Pooh Shiesty. And I'm not knocking Pooh Shiesty because I like his last album that he did with uh, with Gucci, 1017. But in order for us to enjoy a lot of these artists, it needs to be some authenticity about this artist. If he's talking about stepping, we need to see it. We need to believe it. That's just the American way. That's the way the artists before them, them programmed us. To, to to view it. So unless that changes, rap gonna go back to Naughty by Nature, Dawson Effects, Red Man, which I ain't got nothing against Red Man and stuff like that, man. Bars could be back. The art the art form, I'm, I'm all for hip hop. Um, Biggie, Tupac, that music was solid. That music was solid. Even though that's when it, it um it kind of started then too where where real life and the art form kind of intertwine streets done y'all like what we gonna hear from one once young Dolph passed away like we don't what can cmg rap about what can Yo Gotti rap about? It was the competition. It was the yin and the yang that kept the fans wanting to engage. Now it's like Yo Gotti needs to be a CEO. Go ahead and push Glorilla. Go ahead and push Big Boogie. Let him do his little dance. You feel me? On stage. And, and be kind of street or whatever. Not saying that Big Boogie ain't street, but I'm talking about the image. Let him push his image for the streets and for the women. That might can pass because he ain't engaged and he ain't really putting getting his hands dirty in the streets. That kind of music probably can survive. But like Thug and Lucci type, what was going on back then? Uh, they do a shootout and then get in the song and throw jabs at each other. Them days is over with, man. Them days is over with, man. Y'all can thank the Young and Aces. Um, Y'all can thank the Thugs. Y'all can thank the Dirks. Y'all can thank the Fulios. I mean, the game is just fucked up. It's your boy Cardiac Kane, man. If y'all feeling what I'm putting down, man, leave a comment below, man. Put a hundred down there. Put a hundred in the comments, man. You feel me? And make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video, man. I need my engagement up, man. If y'all, if y'all feeling what I'm doing, come on, man. Support a real nigga, man. Y'all salute me. I'm saluting y'all back. It's your boy Cardiac Kane. Yay. Yeah.